This is a look inside one of the most expensive log cabins in the entire world. Welcome back to the channel, Eric Conover here. And in this week's episode, we are in Aspen, Colorado, and we're about to tour one of the most expensive log cabin homes in the entire world, right behind me here at 245 North Star Drive. This home has a movie theater, a game room, a wine cellar. There is so much to unpack, so make sure to stick around for the entire episode. Now, as far as stats on the home, it is seven bedrooms, it has 10 bathrooms. It's just over 14,000 square feet situated on just over one acre of land, asking just under $26 million. Before we jump into the tour, I want to give a huge thanks to my friend Craig Morris at Aspen Snowmass Sotheby's International Realty for letting us tour this incredible home. And with that, this is a look inside one of the most expensive log cabins in the world. So starting here, the exterior of the home, this is a classic log cabin in every sense of the word. You have the massive Douglas fir trees used for the support beams. You have the cedar shake siding with the slate roof, even that copper gutter outlining the whole rooftop. This is a snow melt driveway, meaning it's heated from underneath and you'll never have to shovel snow at this property. I think that's pretty cool, especially you can see around me, there's two feet of snow on the ground, so that's a big, big plus. One of the most defining features of the exterior of this home is the landscaping. Right behind me, you have the quaking aspen white birch trees. These on this property, especially this time of year, just make this home look like it's in a snow globe. If you're curious to see what this home looks like during the summer months, I actually have some B-roll that I'll put in right now, just so you can see that contrast from winter to summer at this property. So from this motor court, we're gonna make our way to the grand entrance of this home. Off to my right in typical log cabin fashion, we have the covered porch with a nice seating area. It's definitely oversized. And just to show you the proportions of the materials used, look how large this Douglas fir is compared to me. That's the scale of this cabin we're about to enter. So let's go on in. So welcome to the entryway of the cabin. I mean, you walk in here and instantly it is just a cozy feeling. I love walking through these double pane glass doors. They even have the etching of the hawk that we found on the wood beams at the front of that overhang. Just very cool theme. But the main materials used are that sandstone. Stepping up, we have that reclaimed pine on the floors. Tons of granite. I mean, take a look at this. This is a solid chunk of granite as a table. And then tying everything together, we have that rustic plaster on the walls. But the main thing you notice when you first walk into this home are these 30-foot double-heighted ceilings in this entryway foyer. Again, with these double-heighted ceilings are these huge Douglas firs, which if you look down here, we have floor lighting, which really highlights all the grain, all the knots in the wood, really giving you the feeling, bringing that outdoor and the rustic nature of Aspen into a $26 million log cabin. From the entryway, off to the right behind you is the dining room, but we're gonna to head to the left and we're going to enter the formal living room. There's a lot to unpack in here, as you can see, so we're gonna break it down piece by piece. The first thing you notice when you walk in this room, again, are those double-heighted ceilings with the cleary windows at the very top, which are cut out, allowing that natural light to flood in from both ends. This is an A-frame structure, and you can see all of these beams, these are actually structurally supporting this cabin. They're not just there for aesthetic. These are actually supporting the home that we're in. Making our way into this formal living room, we have this oversized double-heighted window, which perfectly frames those quaking aspens, the pine trees, and way off in the distance, if you look on a clear day, you can even see the continental divide right from your living room. And above me, one of the most impressive things in this house, this chandelier alone could run you anywhere from 100 to $200,000. And front and center, the selling point of this room is this oversized, granite fireplace but i mean how impressive is this fireplace even for scale seeing me in front of the fireplace the proportions like i said of this cabin are insane they're massive but let's head now on from this great room to the library 
And I love the transition from the reclaimed pine to this tiled pattern going into the library. You have front and center. Now this is still granite that we saw in the fireplace. This has just been polished and it's oxidized, giving it that unique color pattern. It's really interesting what you can do with that one material granite throughout the whole home. So bars right over here in the corner and this bar has the sink, it has a wine chiller, the works. But the main point here in this study are these custom built inlay bookshelves with that recessed LED lighting. Continuing from the library, there is a powder room here off to the left. And this is unique. Again, the whole idea of these raw materials. Look at the countertop of this vanity. We have polished geodes, which have been cut down, displayed with this glass on top, making for, I mean, this is so unique. And even we have the copper pounded sink with the brass, faucet coming directly out of the wall. The details in this home are so impressive. And then again, right here, this is just the actual water closet, which is separated off from the rest of this powder room. So leaving the powder room, we're gonna make our way now down this hallway to the chef's kitchen. And here we have all that natural sunlight with these double bay windows, right off in the corner, nice breakfast nook. And again, this is a very, very large kitchen with the center island. Again, all the stone in here is just different variations of granite. Here we have the oxidized green granite, six burner stove top, nice little prep sink. Making our way around here, we have the wood paneled Sub-Zero dual refrigeration. I mean, for a home of this caliber, you have to have Sub-Zero for the amount of people you'd have in this home. Then making our way over here, we have a nice little breakfast bar area. And then I love how, again, the kitchen transfers and flows into this family room. Every room pretty much in this home has an oversized fireplace. All the fireplaces inside are gas. The only one that is wood burning is outside, which we'll get to a little later in the video. So from this cozy family room, we're gonna head under these dual granite archways into the formal dining room. And this is where if you're looking to impress your guests, this is the place to do it. Again, like I mentioned, every single room pretty much has a fireplace. Here we have that pounded copper on the back of the fireplace. Huge table front and center with seating for eight. And even if you check out the details on these chairs, these were all hand carved. I mean, if you get a close up of this, the details are so meticulous. From the formal dining room, we're gonna head to my favorite part of the house. And I'm gonna keep this as one long take just so you can see the scale of this home and i want you to comment down below so far what is your favorite part of this home i mean there's a lot to unpack like is this style for you do you like this rustic cabin feel i certainly think it's one of the most unique places i've ever seen but before we head into my favorite part of the home we're going to stop into the chef's kitchen so this is a traditional chef's prep kitchen so say you're having your dinner party, this is where you can prepare outside of that main kitchen. And this is fully stocked with everything you'd ever need to prepare a gourmet meal for entertaining your whole family. I mean, you could have your whole family in this home. It's definitely that kind of place. Leaving the chef's prep kitchen, again, we have the granite with these arches. I love the classic arches that kind of break up the rooms. Then heading towards this hallway, we have the sandstone beneath on the floors. We'll head downstairs in just a second, but for now, we're gonna go to my favorite area of the house. Welcome to the entertainment wing. The number one thing you notice in here is just those double heighted ceilings. If you look up, we have a standing seam metal ceiling made out of steel. And even in this metal ceiling, you have all the lights recessed hidden into the ceiling. With yet again, another bar. Let's make our way down this room. Here we have the lounge area right in the center with again, another fireplace. Like I said, these are all gas. We have the chessboard, huge LED TV. We have the pool table right in center. Off into the corner here, we have this old fashioned jukebox. I'm not sure if this thing works, but still for the aesthetic, very unique. And then right here we have a oversized antique shuffleboard game. I have never seen one like this, but it really fills up the entire space of this room. This is a lot of house to take in and the home might be $26 million, but the staging and the decor alone in here is easily another 2 million. So leaving this entertainment wing, making our way back over here, we have a powder room off to my right. Now we're gonna head downstairs to the lower level of the entertainment wing. 
Making our way to the lower level, we have the powder room off to the left here. Again, you have the full granite sink, which has been polished down. Then you have this unique stone tiling halfway up the walls. Across from the powder room, we have a nice wet bar with the microwave for some late night snacks in case you're feeling it. And through this arch door is the most unique part of the entertainment wing. Welcome to the home theater. This is true stadium seating. You can see in the frame, we have 15 foot ceilings on the lower level. I've never seen in a home this kind of ceiling height in one, a lower level, but two in a home theater. To have a theater of this caliber is pretty common practice in a more modern home, but to have this in a log cabin, who knew, who knew? But we're not done yet with the entertainment floor. Off to the corner before heading up the stairs, we have the temperature controlled wine cellar. I'm gonna shut the door just so you get the full ambiance in here. First thing, we have the vaulted ceilings covered in that rustic plaster, giving it that very warm feeling. We have these oak shelves holding all the wine. And this room, it gives off a pretty romantic vibe. But from here, we're gonna head back up to the first floor of the entertainment wing. I didn't note this on the first pass, but this is a custom wine bottle railing. Just the unique details throughout the house, they're everywhere. Now we're gonna head into the mud room. Here we have some custom shelving for storage, a nice bench to come in from that Aspen snowy weather, take your boots off, really get comfortable. Then off to the left here, we have the garage. And this garage can fit three cars. And then off in the corner here, more than enough space for storage, mountain bikes, skis, all the good stuff to get in your Aspen outdoor activities. So leaving the garage, we're gonna head back indoors through the mud room up this staircase, and this is a very large staircase which you wouldn't necessarily find in an in-law suite, which is located above the garage. And as you can see, this in-law suite is the size of the average apartment in Aspen, in the city, just about 900 square feet. So alone, this in-law suite would go for about $1.8 million if we were in Aspen, in the city. From the living space, we're gonna pass through this kitchen, and now this is a full kitchen. You can cook anything in here. Dishwasher, we're gonna make our way on into the bedroom of the guest suite, complete with the bathroom. So it is en suite. You would never really have to ever leave this wing of the house. And just because this home is so big, we're gonna cut right back now to the kitchen. So we're back in the kitchen. This is kind of the focal point, the center of the home. And I wanna keep this as one long take just to show you the sheer size. So we're now heading to the guest wing of the home. And I love how there's this nice transition from these reclaimed pine floors, again, to this sandstone to really break up the space. Also passing by these oversized windows, letting in all that natural light. This is the secondary stairwell, which we'll go up in a bit. And we're still not even there yet. You can see just by this one take how large the home is. Right here again, we have another entryway to the outdoor space, which we'll get to later in the tour. But for now, let's head to the first guest bedroom. Turning the corner to the first guest bedroom, the first thing you notice is this awesome river rock, which is making up this fireplace. Now, every guest bedroom has a fireplace, which in itself is super unique. This guest bedroom also has 12 foot high ceilings and every guest bedroom also has access to outdoor space, which I think that's a pretty cool touch. And additionally, each of the guest bedrooms has an ensuite bathroom. So the floors are sandstone along with this countertop. This has been smoothed down for a nice finish. Deep set soaking tub, standing steam shower with those awesome green fish tiles. You know, they didn't really cut any corners on any room in this house. And I think that's something that's pretty rare. So from this first guest bedroom out into the main hallway, we're gonna head to the second guest bedroom. This one's a bit larger than that last one. And again, for a guest bedroom, I mean, in most homes, this could easily be the master suite. We have the granite on the fireplace rather than that river rock. Again, 12 foot ceilings and views to the nature around. We're gonna head back out into this hallway. And again, we're gonna just keep this one take to show you just how long it takes to walk through this house in real life, let alone in a YouTube video, but back out into this grand open area. This is actually the secondary staircase, like I mentioned. And I mean, just look how regal this is, these wide set planks. We're gonna head up to the second floor and right off of the staircase, we have this large landing seating area, but we're gonna continue down this hallway and we're going to head to the third guest bedroom. And this is the kids room. And the first thing you see when you enter this room is the wall is a full frame of glass, A-frame, that just shows off 
all of the pine, the snow resting on the boughs. We also have the river rock fireplace here in this guest bedroom. We have two queen size beds, so this would technically be a kid's room. Then on down this hallway, we have of course the ensuite bathroom, same finishes as all the rest, but the coolest part is we have the balcony, which overlooks all of your land. You can just listen how quiet it is out here. Utmost serenity, utmost peace. You have a view of your entire property. Yeah, I'm ready to move in. So heading back on inside, we're now gonna make our way through this kids room again. And I know at this point in the video, it's getting a little repetitive, but now we are heading to the fourth of the guest bedrooms. And I promised I'd show you every single inch of these homes, so that's what we're doing. Off to my right, we have the ensuite bathroom, walk-in closet, then making our way into this fourth guest bedroom. Like all the other ones before, we have the vaulted ceilings, but to keep this all flowing, we're gonna head now back to the grand staircase, and we're gonna show you the master suite. We're now back into the main entryway, and we're gonna head up this incredible staircase. Let's just take a moment to look at this. This is a piece of mastery. I mean, this was all handcrafted, every piece of wood. So this is a double width staircase and it's double the height. Like I said, 30 foot ceilings. There's a guest bedroom off to my side, but we're gonna head into the master suite. And first let's check out this solid oak door with the archway. This thing is so beautiful. Also with this antler as the handle, another rustic touch, but let's head into the master. And walking into this master suite, first and foremost, center of the room, oversized granite fireplace, nice seating area, tons of natural light. Then heading back off into this corner, we enter the home office. And I think it's pretty sweet that they have the office built into the master suite. Again, we have that awesome A-frame window where on a clear day, you can see Independence Pass and the Continental Divide right from your office. And now making our way out of this office back past this seating area, we have the actual heart of this master suite. 15 foot vaulted ceilings with the king size bed with this awesome tiered metal chandelier over top. This is a oversized A-frame window and you'll notice that there's no curtain. So this is purposely done so that natural light wakes you up in the morning. You're kind of in sync with the seasons. From this main area in the master suite, we're now gonna head to the master bathroom, which is just as impressive. Off to my left, we have the water closet. Awesome skylight above letting in all that natural light. Again, we have the granite on the countertop, and now we have a nice blue granite. I love the different tones of granite throughout this house. Steam shower, which is floor to ceiling granite. Come and check this out. Get a shot of this, Nico. If you look, granite lines the entire shower. That's very unique. Then continuing down towards the center of the bathroom, we have this awesome metal freestanding soaking tub right by the vanity. And then making our way into the changing area slash walk-in closet, just for some perspective to show how large this room is. But you know, this house looks great in the daytime. Wait till you see it at twilight. This is definitely a twilight home. At night, you can really see how the lighting illuminates all the tiny details. I'm gonna walk around and kind of keep one take just so you get the sense and the ambiance of this home at night. This is a cozy home for the size. Even this fireplace, this actually throws off legit heat. It's not just for show. Even another detail that we didn't see during the day, if you look above here, there's actually a recessed LED light in that above mantle, lighting up all the detail in that granite fireplace. We're gonna continue on making our way now into the library, just so you can get a look at how this place looks at night. Just everything is so detailed all the little nooks and these shelves, everything is lit up. We're gonna show you part of the home that we didn't do during the daytime. We've actually been saving this for twilight. This is the outdoor courtyard right off the kitchen. And during the winter time, you're not gonna to get too much use out of this. Although there is this, I mean, take a look at this fireplace, huge outdoor fireplace. This is the only wood burning fireplace. Unfortunately, we didn't get fire going yet for this evening, but you can imagine just the ambiance of this place with a fire going. This is kind of like the little outdoor oasis right off the kitchen. We're gonna head back in just to continue showing you what this home looks like at twilight. Making our way back indoors, let's check out the kitchen. And here you can see with that overhead stage lighting, you really see the greens in this granite countertop come out at night. 
making our way into the hearth room or the family room. You can even see how this ceiling lighting casts the shadows on this open granite. This is just all raw pieces. Like I said, you even have the moss still left on the granite and passing through this archway. Again, the floor lights really illuminating from the bottom to bring out all that detail. And then making our way into the formal dining room. I mean, just get a look at this at night with the fire going, the chandelier lit up. After a long day of skiing, come back to your massive log cabin mansion. Just take it easy for the night. So that's it for the tour. I wanna to thank you for watching. Comment down below your favorite part of this home. And also let me know if you wanna see more tours in different cities across America. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're well watching this. And with that, I will see you in the next episode.